Chromatopelma cyanopubescens is a monotypic genus of South American tarantulas containing one single species. Chromatopelma cyanopubescens is also commonly known as the green bottle blue tarantula due to its metallic blue legs and blue green carapace. They live in webbed burrows under bushes and tree roots in desert areas of northern Venezuela. The entrance is often extended with webbing, sometimes resembling a funnel shape. These webs may protect the entrance from the harsh desert climate and act as a trap for insects. The species was first described by Embrick Strand in 1907 under the name Europelma cyanopubescens and was moved to the newly created genus Delapelma by Alexander Petrunkovich in 1939. Delapelma and Europelma are now considered to be synonyms of Aphonopelma and Avicularia respectively. But in 1997, Dr. Gunther Schmidt considered the species sufficiently distinct to warrant the new genus of Chromatopelma, a name referring to its striking blue colours. He differentiated Chromatopelma from a Phonopelma based on the scopulae of the tarsus on the third leg, bristles that divide the metatarsus from the tarsus on the fourth leg, and the very large posterior median eyes, also the single few spermificae of females. Spiderlings also have a very unique look. When they are born, they look very different to their adult counterparts. They are not born green, blue and orange like you would expect, but they are born with dark brown abdomens and have pink legs. Their bellies have alternating red and black stripes. Their coloration changes with each molt until they match the adult green, blue and orange version you would come to expect. As adults, they can get to around 2.75 inches in body length, with a leg span as much as 6 inches or more. Females have a lifespan of around 12 to 14 years, whereas mature males only live for around 3 to 4 years. The green bottle blue is carnivorous. In the wild, its diet consists of insects, worms, small lizards and mice. They are opportunistic feeders with a very voracious appetite. Females can be very fussy about the males that they are willing to mate with. If males aren't fast about leaving after the mating has taken place, they will probably be killed by the female. If the pairing was successful, the female will cocoon her eggs around four months after mating. Then, around a hundred spiderlings will hatch two to three months later, leaving their mother within the first couple of days of their lives and going on to be independent spiderlings. Chromatopelma cyanopubescens is considered a terrestrial species of tarantula, but after a lot of research in the field, it has been found that they are semi-arboreal, meaning they spend most of the time on the ground of the forest they inhabit, but can also climb and make webs in lower branches of trees. And this species are well documented as being prolific webbers, building burrows and web tunnels at the bases of trees and roots that span up the tree, giving the spider a grand living space. It also enables them to hunt more prey items than you would expect of a normal tarantula. So, in conclusion, Chromatopelma cyanopubescens is one of the most stunning blue tarantulas you will ever cast your eyes upon. And while they are not threatened in the wild and they come from an environment which is not very developed, ensuring they thrive for many years to come, because of their striking colours and docile but flighty nature, this is under threat. 
because in recent years they've been collected for the pet trade in higher and higher numbers. It's our responsibility to put a stop to this process by ensuring we make the best effort to raise our captive breeding numbers in the hobby, paving the way for their wild relatives to repopulate their natural habitat, as I believe we all wish to see its continued success as a species. Thank you for watching.